Hello everybody, this is Irving Cascade for Let's Play Mega Man Network Transmission. We are here today in my room. Now, there are a couple things I need to mention. First of all, and this is kind of important, for those of you who were worried about my, um, my mic issues that I was having, um, as you might be able to tell, the buzzing, that loud ringing noise, what is that ringing? Do I have a tumor? <laughs> um, that's completely gone. There's nothing to worry about there. No, at least I hope so. <laughs> um, secondly, I you might notice that I'm not um going through and talking, aside from talking, I'm not reading a bunch of text or we didn't get an email or anything like that, like we usually do after we complete an area. And you might be wondering why. Well, I have completed the Iceman fight in this save file. I'm not continuing from where I left off. Actually, I'm continuing months after when I left off. Wow. Um, I did complete the Iceman fight, so I do have the email and the information that was given. Basically, it was just the email and a second email. And um, you might be wondering, why am I not showing the rest of that footage? At least until I finish everything for the Iceman. Like, for me talking about Iceman, me doing all this stuff, so that seems all new and vibrant and neat and pretty. Um, you might, you might um, remember from my last episode, I mentioned something about how the footage... Well, you, you, you saw. The footage was completely screwed up, and I was unable to fix it. At the end of the footage, at the end of the episode, well, not even at the end, at a point in the episode, I fought off against a gigantic bubble fish. Ripped more or less straight out of, um, the Buster Brothers, I think. Peng, Peng yeah, I think. I think it's what it's called. Peng? Peng. It's some weird noise. Anyway, um,. During that fight, the video froze. Well, I couldn't fix that because there was something wrong with the footage, and my my software, my um, editing software, didn't want to fix it for some reason. It did, however, allow me to finish that episode, but after that, I think I had three minutes of footage, and then the rest of it was choppy, and half of it was just like the bubble fish fight, and there was no saving it. I had trouble just editing that thing, so I said, you know what, screw it, and tossed the footage out of the window. Another thing that means is this is not the same file. I had to get myself back to where I was, so I don't have the same subchips that I had. I may not have the same chips that I had. But let's just say, I'm not in the best of moods. Because of how screwed up the game has been toward me. I'm definitely not in the best of moods. So I've kind of decided um, all bets are off when it comes down to the um, me being nice and me trying to avoid cussing and just being sweet and y you know how I usually am. Shut up. <laughs> um, so yeah, if I get really frustrated like I have been, then I apologize. But another thing, you might think this whole hiatus has been me just saying screw LPing, I'm not going to LP. That's not completely true. <laughs> um, 
I've gotten a lot of games since then, especially with um, Christmas coming and going. So I have been playing quite a few games. I do plan on doing a couple of LPs of a couple of those games. Um, as for me saying screw LPing, no, no. That's not true at all. I've actually been trying to figure out exactly how I was going to LP after, well, the reason why I wasn't able to do another episode and why I wasn't able to fix the Bubblefish episode. Um, I mentioned something about my recording software being on the fritz. I could not do any recording for the past couple of months. I couldn't. Not at all. There was something wrong with my software on my old computer. I switched over to my new computer now, so I am recording on a better computer than I was. So it should make things a little easier. Um, maybe I won't have to worry about the lag. But another LP -er actually mentioned the Open Broadcaster software. It, it was something like that. It it looks like the symbol looks like something straight out of Naruto. <laughs> Yeah, it looks like um, three Magatamas. Is that how you pronounce that? I don't know. Uh, but yeah. And I use that just to be able to figure out exactly what's going on and why I couldn't record on this one. Come to find out, I did not have the proper drivers for me to use my capture card. So I fixed that. And I tried using my old capture card on this computer. And oh god, you're looking at it right now. So, that said, I will be able to continue. I will be able to continue my LPs. I was actually planning on saying screw it and doing um, Battle Network before I got a hold of somebody and they told me what um, what to do. The Their names are going to be in the description if you want to check them out. But yeah, um, first things first, let's take a look at the mail because that would be the next thing that I do. Len, thank you. With your help, we were able to repair the waterworks. This must have been the work of a navy hacking program, or some undernet criminal. That reminds me. I found a mysterious source file in a data graveyard near the entrance to the undernet. What could that be? A data graveyard? Hmm. That's fascinating. Hmm. I wonder if we're going to be going there anytime soon. I don't know. Actually, I don't really remember. <laughs> I don't at all. I think we're gonna go to the internet soon, though. Eventually, maybe, possibly, sometime down the road. Not digress. The next one is mail news. What's in Cyberworld? Uh, navvies, viruses, lots of viruses, many viruses. Holy crap. Uh, <laughs> data, firewalls. You you know the the general. <laughs> it it says more than just that. But oh well. Various data is hidden in the cyber worlds, especially in the net. Recently, there have been reports of mysterious eight character codes being found, but as of now, no one can say what these codes might mean. Well, there's that. Another thing that this means, um, there's a lot of screwed up stuff that happened. Um, I went back to the waterworks and obtained the um, the mystery data that was in there. I showed you how to get it. You have to have an unlocker. And if I recall correctly, it gives you an HP memory and that's it. It is helpful. I do have all the armors. Um, it is helpful. You might be wondering why I'm grabbing another unlocker. Well. If the pattern is as I think it is, there's going to be one in here in the shopping district and I'm going to need another unlocker. In fact, I know that's the case because uh, I keep mentioning my old recording. That recording that I did that I only showed you a clip of uh, like two episodes from because those were the only parts that were actually able to be salvaged. Um, I actually went through this and I think another um, area and then the next set of areas I went through one 
and I completely died. <laughs> that area sucked. Oh god. I can't wait for that. I know exactly what I'm going what I'm getting myself into there. Oh god. I think I beat the Navi. I think. I may be wrong. The Navi was somewhat of a bitch. I know that. Oh my god, he goes uh screw it. <laughs> With that said, let's go into the shopping district and continue on. Now, because I have seen this area, I know what it, I'm getting myself into, and that doesn't mean Jack. <laughs> I don't like this area. This area is really annoying. But take a look at that background. It's actually pretty neat. We're inside of a shopping district cyber world. So this is the shopping district cyber world Higgs we mentioned. Testing. Testing. Huh? Len, can you hear me? Huh? Higgsby? I'm using an industrial class line from Higgsby's to access your location. Huh? Len, I figured out the cause of the disturbance. Huh? A navy running amok caused the computers to act up. Huh? Thought so. A navy running amok. Bright man. A navvy from one of the shopping district's stores suddenly went crazy and took over the computers to use their power on lighting. Huh? Higgsby, we'll go into that cyber world and- why are we in that cyber world? What the hell? <laughs> and find that navvy. <laughs> Let's go, Mega Man. Alright. Please find him. Huh? So yeah, of course I don't remember what Higgsby's voice is. I've just... No. <laughs> I just decided to screw around with Higgsby's voice and do whatever the hell I wanted. No. No, no, no! I'm trying to remember the controls! I can't remember the controls! No! <laughs> you keep trying to make me check out! No! <laughs> Okay, so, um, oh god, I have to keep that in, that was awesome. <laughs> oh, great. Let's go, <laughs> uh, let's go back into the shopping district computer thing. I think that there's something over there, I think it's a mystery data. If not, then I just killed a bunny for nothing. <laughs> uh. Bravo, Stephen. Bravo. That was awesome. <laughs> okay. Now, controls. Jump. Mega Buster. I know that's Mega Buster. Charge shot. And... Oh, speaking of which, do I have any... No, I do not have any power-ups. Okay. I don't know if my power-ups are the exact same as I had it before. I don't think you get any power-ups while you're in the area. But, oh well. Now! Hi, Autumn. Yes, I've got a really, really big cat. Her name is Autumn. And you might hear her meowing in a couple moments because she likes to come in here and talk to me. A lot. And if she does not stop talking, you may hear her right now. You can play the game! In fact, I think you are playing that game. Yep, there he is. Bomb throw! So yeah, there's two paths that you can take going through here. Um, those little things, I think they're called sparkies, are interesting. They fly around, and if they hit something, they magnetize to it, and they just crawl across it. Which is really fascinating, in my opinion. I don't know if it's fascinating in your opinion, but your opinion is invalid. This is my LP. <laughs> uh, I'm, I'm just kidding. But yeah, they are really not that um, much of a bother. This is actually the better path to take. And yes, I will be showing the bottom half. The bottom half sucks. It's kind of like a punishment hit, if that makes any sense. If you fall there, it, it's not too bad, but there's a lot more, and I mean a lot more viruses that can do a lot more damage to you. 
It's just more or less if you screw up a little jump here, you can fall and fall down there. But also, if you can screw up one of those jumps, you can fall down there to your doom because underneath those pink platforms, pink platforms, there's mystery data. I got 200 zenny! Yeah, um, no. There is a bottomless pit, so avoid falling down there at all costs. Hi, Autumn. Okay. No! I actually thought that the bunny was going to show that off. There we go. <laughs> uh, I love those bunnies. They're awesome. I don't love those things. They are not awesome. They are not awesome either. Stop throwing stuff at me. Stop. Okay. Um, I know how in the last video I mentioned that I absolutely love, and I mean love, ice levels. Well, the opposite is true about electric levels. Although my favorite Pokemon is an electric Pokemon. It's actually, a lot of people love Pikachu. I like Raichu. And so many people just hate Raichu. In fact, the latest Pokemon games have more or less tried to make it so that you don't want to evolve your Pikachu. You want to keep a cosplay Pikachu, which if I ever get the program to be able to LP that, I will. But, um... So many people say that Raichu sucks, and yet Raichu is actually a really underappreciated Pokemon. In my opinion, Raichu is a really powerful Pokemon. In fact, I have um, I had two Pikachu's that were special. I had um, well, actually, I had quite a few Pikachu's that were special. <laughs> but um, I had a flying Pikachu and a surfing Pikachu, and I got a little bomb. And I got. <laughs> I had a flying Pikachu and a surfing crap. Surfing crap? 